Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 9 in Azure Data Explorer playlist. In this video, we will discuss about how to ingest data from local file into a table in Azure Data Explorer. In our previous video, we have explained about what is ingestion wizard. So please watch that to get an idea. Using same ingestion wizard, we can upload a local file into a table of Data Explorer. Let me practically show you that and when you are ingesting data from local file to a table, you can ingest either into a existing table or into a new table. I will show you both. Let me go back to browser. So okay, before going to browser on my desktop, I have a folder called sample files. Here I have two files employees one employees two. So let me open first employees one folder here and in the employees one folder, you can see we have two rows here. So you can see here ID, name, gender and department columns. These two rows are data. Similarly, if I open employees 2 file, there is one row available there. So let me open and show you. And you can see in the employees 2, we have only one row. Okay. So now these two files I want to upload into Azure Data Explorer table. So let me go to browser. So here I have already opened data explorer dot uh, uh, azure dot com URL where we can connect our data explorer clusters and you know this already from my previous videos. So here we have to navigate to data menu under data menu. We have to click this ingest data button. The moment you open it, it will open a ingestion wizard here for you to connect and in Azure portal in our previous videos, we recreated this Azure Data Explorer cluster called ADX Wafa Studies. The same cluster we added connection also in our previous videos. So the same cluster I am using it here. And in that cluster, I have a database called Demo Database. I selected it. Right now in this database, there is no table available. So what I can do, I can go to in the Azure portal. I can even go to this query menu and here I can show you right now there is no table in that database. See, you can see demo database. And if I go in here, if I, even if I refresh, I don't see any table. Okay. So that is the reason in the ingestion wizard under destination, I will select as a new table. That means I want to take data from local file. I want to upload that into a new table called employees maybe. Okay. And then you have to click this second next button or this source tab. So when you go to source here, you need to, there are so many types of source types are available. You need to select this file option. When you want to upload files from your local up to 10 files at a time, you can upload. So let me hit this browse for files, but link and then the employees one, that means which has two rows, only this file right now I want to upload. So let me click open. So what it will happen, it will try to take this employees onecsv file and it will try to upload that. So when I hit next schema, this is where it is. It will try to give you some schema details here. It is trying to give you like what format, uh, what compression type it is automatically selected. It is automatically detected a format as a CFV is any, if any other format you can choo choose from this drop down. And it create a new mapping here called employees mapping. And you can see all my first row taken as a column names here. Why it is? Because if you see here, ignore the first record that will make sure to consider your first row as a column names. So that is what happening here. Okay. So now when I hit start ingestion, that's where it is going to create a table. Why? Because I selected new table creation option. So if you see this ingestion preparation, it created a table and it created a mapping, whatever it identified the mapping and it is ingesting the data. And you can see right now data ingestion is in progress. Once the data ingested, now it is showing data preview also saying like data is ingested properly. What you can do here, you can here scroll down and when you scroll down here, you can see quick query options as well. That means now this table is created called employees and the data is also loaded and it is giving you preview. If you want to query, you can quickly query and it will give you some quick links also here. I don't use this. Let me go to query menu here and from the query menu, you can see right now in my database, I have employees table. I can expand to see the column names as well. So now let me do one thing from the employees table. Let me take 
10 records so actually uh, to be in my table i have only two records because my file contains only two records but still i given a 10 right so let me hit this run button to see the output you can see we have two rows here successfully showing that means my data ingested into a adx cluster database table successfully that two into a new table that means it created a table and it ingested the data successfully what if i want to ingest the data into an existing table so now imagine this is an existing table this employees is an existing table now into this existing table i want to ingest the data so what i can do i can go to same data menu ingest data and here select your existing table option cluster selection database selection then existing table selection in the drop down select your table so employees is the table which i want to select let me go to the source option here again same file this time let me browse and upload this employees to in which i have only one employee information that is id3 so let me hit open so now i am ingesting the data into an existing table basically so let me hit this schema so this is where what it will happen a same thing it will preview the data from that file so it is employee id3 and also it is taking the existing mapping this table already has a mapping from our previous ingestion we have a mapping so same mapping information it is used if you want to create a new mapping also you can do that so up to us uh, i will explore more about this uh, mappings and everything in our upcoming videos don't worry so now when i hit this start ingestion it is going to take data from this employees 2csv file from my local into the existing table called employees table so this time it won't create the table in the table already we have two rows this third row is go and go and insert into the same table so once it's done let me hit this close button and let me go to query and this time let me try to execute this take uh, 10 so it will give you all the three records because right now in our table we have only three records so even though you mentioned 10 it will give you only three so if i mention like take one for example here then it will give you only one record you can see here so point is i or i can use this count function also to see the count of the records from the table so there are totally three three records available in that table so that's how you can ingest data from your local files or from your local system into adx cluster tables even into a new table or even into existing table i hope you got an idea how to use this ingestion wizard to load the data from local file to table thank you for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.